Hey gents, each year around this time, I get questions from you guys on what are the best boots for the winter that are still stylish. I did a roundup last year. We talked about mock toes and Iron Rangers and Red Wings and all the great boots for winter. And this year I'm excited because Taft has upgraded their boots. As I've talked about, I'm a huge sucker for Chelsea boots. The fact that they are basically slip-ons, they are stylish, and they are extremely comfortable. And these Drake boots have all that from a Chelsea boot, but they also have weatherproofing. So the Drake Chelsea is based on the Taft Dragon boot, which I know have high marks from Carl Murawski and from Nick over at Stridewise. So building on the Goodyear welted nature of the Dragon boot with that Chelsea upper and a Wax Commander suede leather, which you can see comes right out of the box with already this kind of rugged, rough patina, and it's only going to develop wear in and look like yours more over time. The key here with this waxed suede is the weatherproof nature. So as you're going through parking lots or city streets and you're walking through puddles and dirt and dirty snow, this will repel that dirt and water so you can wear them all day, every day, no matter what the conditions are. And it's really brought home by this tread. Look at the tread on these guys. The grip is great, it has plenty for traction, but it's also not too big in the lug. I've seen a couple of boots where the lug is just massive and that's what makes these still sleek and you still get that Spanish Portuguese heritage in the design of the boot because all of Taft's shoes Goodyear welted, made in Spain or Portugal, depending on if it's the sneaker or the boots. You also get that in the opening of the shoe. I've had a few other Chelsea boots where the opening around the ankle is just a little too big, but these are nice and snug around the legs. So you're not dealing with either bunching up of the jeans or walking in or out of them. And so that is a really nice thing too. Taft has certainly been around. I've talked about them a number of times on the channel. And so if these have any level of durability that my other Taft Chelsea boots have gone through, you're looking at years on these. And it's, it is the thing that reminds me, not just in the Chelsea boot nature, but it reminds me a lot of Blundstones because these are shoes that because they're Goodyear welted, you can get them resold, have them recreated crafted. On top of that, you can get the wax suede treated every couple of years to make sure you're continuing that weatherproofing and you can have these for years to come, which is why these sit around that $300 price point. But with proper care, these are going to be a very long lasting shoe. For sizing, just like in almost every other shoe that I talk about on the channel, I was a 45 or a 12. So these fit in line with other brands of boots or dress shoes. So even if the Drake or the Chelsea boot is not quite your cup of tea, the other shoes in Taft's line, specifically in the Dragon line, are really worth a look at. So if you're looking for a great winter boot or just a great boot overall that's going to stand up to your wear and tear going through you know, the spring and the fall and the winter and having that weatherproof nature, then Taft does it really, really well. So there you have it, gents. I'll put links to Taft down below if there is any sort of like discount or promos going. That'll all be noted down in the description. If you have any questions about these boots in particular, Taft or anything else, as always, I'll be down in the comments. You can also reach out at underscore Cavalier on Twitter and Instagram. Love to hear from you guys over there. I do still have some videos coming that were shot in the old studio working on the new studio set up here. And so stay tuned for that. Thank you so much for your patience. Till next time, gents, this is The Cavalier. This is not gonna be the new permanent shooting space. Um, just something I wanna do temporarily in my focus. The lighting's amazing though. I don't even I don't have a single light turned on. It's just sunlight. That's nice.